Right, let's talk about climbing the corporate ladder. Is it a thing of the past? Our life coach, Harold Hillman, joins us to bring this into some context for us. Hi, Harold. Hi, Trudy. It used to be true that to get ahead in a company, well, you had to climb the ladder, do what it takes. You know, there's been all sorts that's gone on, I'm sure, uh, in a prescribed sequence of roles, literally from the bottom to the top. Um, the corporate ladder reflects a different era. Baby boomers, you know, to, to today's millennials. Let's talk about it. Uh, Trudy, the corporate ladder is quickly becoming a thing of the past. It was firmly rooted in the industrial era where we tended to take a one-size-fits-all view on the world of work. And that included how we develop people, how we progress people through their careers in sort of a cookie-cutter approach. And there were a few assumptions that work with linear, that people really just wanted to stay in one particular career field. We work was based around the nine-to-five office model. All of those things that nowadays have absolutely been turned on their head. There's a new focus on what's called the career lattice. So picture a lattice in a garden with its strong horizontal and diagonal and vertical supports, and which basically is there to help train the growth of a plant. Well, when we think about career management and, and progressing your career now in organizations, it's not so much vertical anymore. We're running out of room. Organizations are flatter. Um, and more importantly, work now requires us to grow um, cross and broad knowledge of the enterprise and how business operates as opposed to staying stuck in a specialty role. So you're saying moving sideways used to be a, well, used to be a red flag, didn't it? But now it's a common way to actually get ahead. That's right. Um, 30 years ago, um, being moved laterally would be, as you said, a red flag. And now it's considered a way to actually build your acumen, build your sort of a systemic view of the company or the business, get a comprehensive knowledge. Um, it, the world is going to be a different place in 2040 in terms of the skills required. And so it's going to pay for people people to really broaden their skill sets and, you know, where they really think that they can make a, a bigger contribution. What are some of the social factors that are causing the shift from this l corporate ladder to the lattice? I like it. Look, it's a big, it's a big change from, you know, like when I entered the wor uh, workforce in the early 80s when we were truly in that corporate ladder mentality. Now, in 2018, there's been a rise in non-traditional families. Roughly half the workforce are women. Um, Forty percent of of, um, of households now, the primary breadwinner is a woman, um, which requires more flexibility. There are flattened hierarchies, just fewer layers in companies. There's a critical sh um, shortage of talent to go into roles. And so you really have to cater to the evolving needs of a younger generation, which is basically saying we... Um, we, we want to focus on our development and which enables us to feel like we're contributing in the biggest way possible. What advice would you give in our final couple of minutes, uh, Har Harold, about you know, a person who's perhaps thinking about advancing their career and doesn't know how to do it? Yeah, I would just say, you know, certainly try to get close to your why, your personal why. And that is, you know, what really drives you, what really invigorates you and energizes you. And be more actively engaged around your career path. Don't sit in the back seat of your career path. Put your hands on the wheel. Get in the front seat. Put your hand on the wheel. Put your foot on the accelerator. Have a goal or a set of goals and really focusing on like five years out and what do you really want to be doing and can you then set some tangible goals around knowledge and skills and abilities that you need to grow to be able to position yourself for a bigger opportunity. Always an inspiration on a Sunday afternoon leading up to the one o'clock news. Harold Hillman is our life coach. He joins us every Sunday. Leadership coach, author, business commentator. Just uh, Google Harold Hillman for more information and inspiration. It's one